Today is Thursday. I love your show. Thank you. Thank you for the compliment. I can see your house from here and your wife cheating on you with another filter. All men cheat. Why do men cheat? Why do men cheat? There are a lot of reasons why men cheat. When the men are better looking than their wives, they tend to be more unhappy. I was physically attracted to another woman. How would I know if my boyfriend or husband is cheating? What are the signs? They don't answer the phone in front of you. Keep it in your pants, mister. Showtime! Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Sony released a brand new teaser for Close Encounters of the Third Kind over the 4th of July weekend. A new website referencing the 1977 original has also popped up to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the sci-fi film. A video entitled This Means Something was uploaded to the Sony Pictures Entertainment YouTube page Monday, which just so happened to be World UFO Day. The video features an air traffic control radar animation locating an unidentified flying object targeting one of its planes. While many fans expected the clip to be an unofficial announcement of a Close Encounters reboot or sequel, the studio actually intends to re-release the film to theaters this September. Meanwhile, Christopher Lloyd says he would love to return as Dr. Emmett Brown for a Back to the Four future movie, while adding that he believes Michael J. Fox would be willing to Marty McFly once again, too. The 78-year-old Lloyd says he'd only do a fourth movie if everyone else associated with the franchise returned. Nathan's held their annual hot dog eating contest on Coney Island yesterday, and Joey Chestnut won it for the 10th time and set a new world record. He ate 72 hot dogs in 10 minutes. Here's the call. Chestnut has it handily. Cincotti, nine back. Rafa Nadal got 10. Joey Chestnut looks like he's getting 10. With 72 Nathan's famous hot dogs and buns, a new world record. The Nathan's famous 4th of July champion of the world, Joey Chestnut. Joey Chestnut. I, mean, I didn't do what I wanted to do, but you know, I'm, I'm happy. Uh, the crowd was amazing. The weather, what, I always complain about the weather, but uh, it, it was great. And um, it, yeah, it was a great performance, but I know I could do better. And uh, for an event like this, I, it, next year, if I, if I come back, I'll, I'll, I, I, you can bet I'll, I'll be pushing harder. By the way, you can get more details on this event in news that'll make a vegan's head explode. Meanwhile, five people were arrested for trying to disrupt the hot dog eating contest. I guess some people just don't relish this event. A Florida man shot himself in the penis when he sat on a loaded gun. The bad news is he won't be able to reproduce, but the good news is he won't be able to reproduce. Still with Florida, a hot air balloon filled with passengers landed in an alligator-infested pond, which, by the way, is also the plot of the next Samuel L. Jackson movie. Fox fired the head of its sports division. As you may have guessed, the reason is sexual harassment. Does anyone over there at Fox actually ever get any work done? The White House says Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin will hold their first meeting with no specific agenda. You know, just two guys hanging out, enjoying a little locker room talk. In some California jails, inmates are now allowed to upgrade to nicer cells, which have cable TV, private phones, and personal libraries. That explains the hot new trend, getting arrested. Time for Nobody Gives a F***. Disney will remove the wench auction from the Pirates of the Caribbean ride because it's offensive. But a duck dressed as a pantsless sailor isn't. Hey, Disney, nobody gives a f***. Corey Feldman knocked out a tooth during his concert. It fell in the part of the crowd where nobody was sitting. All of it. Hey, Feldman, nobody gives a f***. And today is the 10th anniversary of the release of the first iPhone. It's also the 10th anniversary of someone asking their bartender, uh, can you charge this for me? Hey, iPhones, nobody gives a f***.
Thanks, Thanks everybody. everybody. We, we have, have a new episode of the Reynolds, Reynolds Report for you every, every weekday. weekday. Be sure, Be sure to, check to check out NSS, NSS Live, starring, starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity panel of guests, including the legendary Phil Esposito, Tuesdays and Thursdays, NSS Live.